So I'm doing a presentation on millionaire habits that we can pick up for 2019. You guys excited? No? Yes. I am. Woo! Millionaire habits for 2019! I'm really excited about this. So we have the million dollar year checklist. And I just want to say a huge thank you to Colton. He's my accountability partner. And everyone give a round of applause. <laughs> I had an idea on how I wanted to present this. And then we got on the phone today and he made me change my whole presentation. And I'm really thankful that he did because now it's going to be even better. So today I'm going to go over how I have a workbook for you to go through. Because I'm going to go over a lot of information. But today I just want you to pick one habit that you would like to change to help you be successful until the end of the year. And then throughout 2019, you can kind of pick up more habits, okay? I have daily, weekly, and monthly habits, as well as maybe some results in other areas of your life that you would like to achieve. And having your accountability partner hold you accountable to these habits, okay? So, let's see. The million dollar year checklist. And it's really easy. It's just um, getting into the right habits every year will really help you. So I have a workbook. I put it on the Facebook group. It's going to be in the follow up email and it's also on Amazon.com. I uh, published an ebook and it's something everyone here can really do to make you an expert in your field. And it's really easy and I can do a whole presentation on that as well. So if you want to follow along, and get the ebook. It's right there on Facebook. Okay, so we're only going to focus on one thing, and I'm going to go over a lot of information today. So really, just try to think of the one thing. And the people that have their pens and papers out, I'm really, really proud of you because I can tell that you guys are really focused. One thing. Okay, I'm going to go over a lot of information. Just choose one thing. So daily, what time do you think millionaires wake up at? What time do you guys wake up at? 4.30. 4.30. So maybe your one thing is just waking up a little bit earlier to have a couple more hours to work. Uh, completing your morning routine. How many people have a morning routine that they go through every morning? Look at right here. If you don't have a morning routine, just do a nod. Getting into the office by 8 to 10 a.m. or 4 to 6. Why do I say these hours? Because these are the hours that you're going to be able to set appointments. So if you're not getting to the office at 8 a.m., that's maybe one habit that you can change. And book appointments at these times. This is when people are ready to go. Review the daily hot sheets. There's always something going on in the real estate industry and you need to be on top of it if you're gonna be an expert and provide your clients value. So every day, look at the hot sheets. Do 15 minutes of aggressive role play and learn how to handle objections. And this is something I do with my accountability partner. So that way, when you are working with clients in the field at your eight to 10 and four to six, you're ready to go and you're ready to close sales. Hour of power, <clears throat> excuse me. Have an hour that can just really pump you up during the day and just get you all motivated, get you fired in all cylinders, really knowing what you wanna accomplish for the day and maybe just something that empowers you and really uh, blows up your juices. Afternoon follow-up sessions. You should be doing about 2,000 leads a month. Is anybody doing that right now? Yes. Yes. One person. Okay, so that's a lot of leads to do in a month, but if you want to hit those numbers, that's something really good to shoot for. Track your numbers every day. Uh, check in on your listings and meet with your assistant if you have one. Tracking your numbers helps you know where you're at every day and two social media posts a day. I just did a whole presentation on social media and post something for people to create engagement. You know, ask them a question, really maybe have them kind of start a conversation. That's what social media is really looking for. So these are some things you can do daily. Again, just choose one that you can start today. Weekly, weekly team trainings. Meet with your team and help boost them up with something that they need. Powerful team meetings and revealing KPI. What does KPI mean? Key performance indicator. Perfect. Seller follow-up. If it's not compelling, it's not selling. And maybe it just needs to change a little bit. Organize open houses for your weekend. Get that all organized and ready to go. Have the whole schedule ready. 
and schedule project time. I know we have a lot of projects that we have to do for the year. Schedule time to get it done. Manage your marketing plan. If you don't have a plan for your marketing, you're just gonna market off of emotions and that's not how we should do it. We should really have an organized plan. What kind of promotions that you have coming up? How can you do it over the holidays? And also kind of have a follow-up marketing plan with your first marketing plan and really have a smooth, consistent marketing plan throughout the year. Know who your avatar customer is. We all are marketing to certain customers. What do they like? What do they do for fun on the weekends? How can you help them with their problems in their life? Do one to two live videos on Facebook. You can do one right now if you want to. That's one. And just, you know, it doesn't have to be long. Just, hey, I'm here at the Real Estate Roundtable learning how to be a better investor. You know, just tell people what's going on. Check in. That helps you go into the top of the algorithm. Preview your properties and know your market. You should know, someone calls you up and says, hey, there's something that just came up on the market today. Get that under contract because you know your market and you know what's going on and you always have opportunities available. And mastermind coaching inspiration. Always be filling up your tank and learning new skills. So weekly, something you can do once a week. Again, just pick one. Book and attend 10 appointments in a week, okay? Have a goal. List your X amount of number of properties. Open X extras and close that number of sales. You know, you just setting your numbers will help you achieve it. Don't have to worry about how you're gonna achieve it. Just set a goal and the universe will help you. Monthly, review prior month's p &L. How many people do this every month? Some of you may not have a PL. and l So, what is a p and <laughs> Profit and loss statement, okay? So that's a part of tracking our numbers and knowing where we stand every month. Yeah, some of us probably don't have a P, you know? And that's, that's a great place to start is how to create a P, right? I mean, that, that could be our one thing. And really that putting all your energy into that. Great point, thank you. Have face-to-face -face individual, individual meetings with your team members. Really connect, really see what kind of problems they're going through and really celebrate their wins and successes of what they did. Really connect with your teammates. Your teammates make up your entire business. Um, have, make sure you're having your partnership meetings and then set a two to three month forecast. I really like this idea because you need to know where you wanna be in two to three months and you need a plan to get there. Also review all marketing results and look at adjustments. So this is just monthly, every month you should be doing this. Okay, you may also want results in your health, family, relationships, social media, marketing, financial, and your spiritual. Maybe just write down one thing that you want to change in this area and just focus on it a little bit more. That could be your one thing. Let go. To be a millionaire in the real estate industry, there are some things that you need to let go of. Things that are holding you back. It's a really funny picture, huh? That is actually a Photoshop picture, but I kind of want something to be a little funny. Uh, this is, <laughs> that's, that's actually not me, but we can pretend it's me. <laughs> that's a very hard way of letting go. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to let go to get into this position. Um, at one point in my life, I probably could do that. Letting go of things that are holding you back. Letting go of self-limiting beliefs. Letting go of anything that you're really holding on to that's not serving you anymore. You may be doing everything else right and you have this extra baggage that you're holding on to. Just let it go and that's fine. Forgive yourself, forgive others, it's great. So all of this information was based on a one hour video on Tim Ferry. It was really, really good and I just saved you guys an hour. So again, my name is Jen in Sacktown. If you have any questions, how many people have their one thing? How many people have their one thing? How many people have their one thing? Okay, cool. So now meet with your accountability buddy, tell them your one thing, and schedule the times that you guys are going to hold each other accountable to that. Thank you very much.